Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your friendly neighborhood, Tony, and I wanted to jump on real quick to do a trailer reaction to the latest Marvel series. That's right, there's another Marvel series that's going to be coming out called Miss Marvel. I don't know a ton about what they're going to do with the series. I know a little bit about the character from the comics, but let's check out the trailer together. Then we'll jump online, maybe check out the IMDb or something like that to see who's working on the show and kind of hopefully get an idea as to whether or not this thing is going to be good or if not so much. I'm hoping for the best. So without further ado, let's jump right into the trailer. All right, here we go. Oh, is that uh, the weekend? Yep. Okay, so first off, I just want to say, I get it. You get what? It's cute. High school. Kamala. Kamala. Another adventure shirt. Cute. Oh, that's funny. He thinks I'm some kind of weirdo. You were weirdo. Boys. Excuse it's me. got like a Scott Pilgrim <laughs> vibe with all the <laughs> animated like stuff. It. Sorry. Oh, jeez. But you're staring out the window in your little fantasy land. <laughs> Oh, oh my hey. god. Already? Really? Come on. Ridiculous. Like, do I have to figure out my whole future before lunch or is it really like... It's a wiggle room. Maybe they're right. I spend too much time in fantasy land. That is not to you. Mm. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City who save the world. Maybe though. That's a fantasy too. That's dope. Did something happen to you? No, why? Did you hear something? <laughs> what does it feel like? Cosmic. I always thought I wanted this kind of life. Who was that? But I never imagined any of this. Do you even know what you That's are? That's cool. Oh, jeez. June 8th. All right. All right, dude, that looks like a lot of fun, actually. I like how it had kind of the Scott Pilgrim vibes with all the little animated things here and there. And it's cool to get a story about a character that is younger and not really like a lot of what you see with the typical Marvel superheroes where it's like they're adults and they work for the government and they kind of have it all together. This is a high school kid, obviously. So I'm interested. I'm excited. But let's go ahead and check out real quick uh, the IMDb to see who is going to be the showrunner on this one. Of course, all the Marvel stuff is going to be produced by Disney and by Kevin Feige and all that. But they usually like to pick different showrunners for the different shows. And also, I want to take a look and see what else this girl has worked on before. She looks pretty young, so probably not that much. All right. So We've got the IMDb pulled up here. It says here, a New Jersey raised Kamala Khan learns that she has polymorphous powers. So right here, we've got the creator listed as Bisha Ali. And looking at Bisha's page here, uh, it looks like she has written on Loki, which is dope. Also executive story editor. Don't know what that means. She also wrote on Four Weddings and a Funeral, which I haven't seen. So yeah, not a ton so far, but she's got a bit of experience, especially working on Loki. So it looks like they kind of dipped her toes in the Marvel world before giving her her own show to run with. You know, I will say, and this is maybe delicate waters to tread. Okay, first off, I appreciate Marvel reaching out to minorities, being a minority myself, and women, of course, to direct different things. That's cool. Love that. But why is it that when major studios want to bring in some kind of diversity. It's always for a movie or a show that is specifically related to that individual. I feel like that's almost not real diversity. Like you have a movie about a woman, so you get a woman director. You have a movie about a black man, so you get a black male director. You have a show about a brown girl, so you get a brown female director. It's like, I appreciate the gesture, but if you want real diversity, you would give someone like this or whoever, just a regular tentpole show or movie. So I don't know. That's just a little annoyance that I have. Again, I'm not crapping on her getting her shot. I love that for her. It's just one of those things where it's like you see a little crack in the matrix and you're like, oh, we're not quite there yet. But either way, excited to see what she has to offer on the show. It is cool that Marvel is trying to reach out a bit more into the realm of diversity. All right, back on the show's page here, it looks like the star is Aman Vellani. Oh, and... 
Anjali Bamani. I know her. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. Anjali Bamani is on Critical Role, which is a show about a bunch of nerdy voice actors that play D&D together. And she was on kind of like this special mini series that they had. But let's go ahead and check out Iman here. Let's see what she's working on. All right. And right here, it looks like this is it. Whoa, that is wild. This is her only credit. There's nothing else listed here. She has not acted in anything else on IMDb. That is terrifying. I mean, shout out to her for getting the gig. I, I trust Marvel, right? Marvel hasn't really let us down as far as their casting is concerned. In fact, they always have really good casting. Even if the movies aren't always the best, the actors and actresses that are in them, I feel like are always really charming and do a good job. So I have no doubt that she can carry the weight, but man, that is a lot to give someone who has no real experience. Go get it, girl. It looks like she's obviously working on this show. And then she's got the Marvels movie that's going to be coming out. I think that one already shot. So I think they're in post-production on that movie. So this could be really, really big for this girl, for Iman Vellani here. All right. So not a lot to go off of. The trailer looks good. The talent behind it looks good as well. Not super experienced on either the showrunner or the lead actress's part. But again, I trust Marvel. They haven't really steered me wrong yet. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you excited for this Miss Marvel show? Are you a little concerned about it? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Otherwise, if you want to see more trailer reactions or movie and TV show reviews and rankings, make sure you subscribe to the channel. All right. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I'll catch you in the next one. Be good.